Hello again and welcome to Mr. Mayor's Book Chats. Got a couple new books down here at the library I wanted to talk to you about. First one is Rated. And Rated is about six teenagers that go to the Maplethorpe Academy. And this is set in a society where everything is dictated by your rating. You wear a smartwatch and on that watch you have a number. And that number is your rating. The higher your rating, the more elite your life can be. You get better housing with a higher rating. You get better health care with a higher rating. And it kind of goes the opposite as way. If, you're late, if your rating gets too low, um, you don't have as many opportunities. You can't get as good of a job. You don't get paid as much. And the way your rating goes up and down is how you do in life. You um, turn in all your assignments, your rating goes up. You win awards, your rating goes up. You do well in sports, your rating goes up. So everything is dictated by your rating. Well, on the first day of school, there is a graffiti message painted on the school doors that say the ratings are not real. And it kind of throws the school into a tizzy. It throws the students um, kind of off guard. Maybe what happens if the ratings really don't matter? How can their lives change? So these six teens, even though they don't hang out beforehand, they're all thrown together in kind of a weird way. And they have to figure out what is going on and who's behind that graffiti. Um, this is, if you liked the book, One of Us is Lying, you might like this book. The next book is also kind of a dystopian book. This is in a world where it says it's set in the not too distant future. Um, but it is about a Muslim girl in a world where Muslims are being rounded up and Muslims are having their books burned and their bodies encoded with identification numbers. The government is making all of the Muslims register and putting them in internment camps. And the main character, Layla, she's just a regular American teenager until all of this happens. And she refuses to accept that these circumstances of her detention. And she plots to take down the system. But she quickly learns once she's in the camp that resistance is no joke. That these people, this, the government, is not playing around. And they are willing to silence the resistors no matter what. So she kind of has to sneak around a little bit. She finds one guard that seems a little bit sympathetic, but she's not sure that she can trust him fully. Um, her boyfriend, who is white, is on the other side of the fence. And, you know, can she fully trust him? And will he help? So it's, this will make you think, it'll make you ticked off, but it's also got this kind of kick butt character, Layla, who isn't just going to sit around and let the government tell her how to act and what to do. This book I'm kind of excited about is called His Hideous Heart. And I know some of you just got finished reading some Edgar Allan Poe. These, um, this book, 13 popular young adult authors take an Edgar Allan Poe story and kind of update it to today's world. I have not read all of the stories yet. Um, I've read a couple, but it's, for example, they, the Telltale Heart, the author takes that story and updates it about a um, two high school students. One, the main character is a girl who is running for student body president, and she is always losing to this other guy. You know, all throughout her career, this other guy has always been president, and the girl has never had a shot to win. So she decides to kill him. And it kind of fits that same theme of a telltale heart, but in today's world. Um, and then it's got all of the original stories in the back of this book. So it's if you like Edgar Allan Poe, check that one out. Little Monsters. 
This is, if you want another thriller, it's about a girl named Casey who is new to Broken Falls. The new, she moved in with her father and stepbrother and stepmother and kind of a younger half-sister that just adores her. And Casey is loving her new life. Um, kind of before when she was living with her mom, her mom would go have these ups and downs and kind of all over the place. But she's loving this new life. She's quickly taken in by two friends and everything's great until it's not. Um, her two best friends don't invite her to the biggest party of the year, which kind of takes her kind of by surprise because they thought they were they were good friends. But then something happens at the party and one of her best friends is killed, never makes it home from the party. And now Casey is a suspect and Casey has to figure out what happened at this party, why she wasn't invited. And did these two girls kind of have ulterior motives of taking her kind of in, taking the new girl in? And then the last book is called Heroin. This book is a hard hitter. Um, it's about a girl, two best friends that played softball. They had played softball together their entire lives. Um, Mickey was the catcher and Carolina was the pitcher. And this tells the story of they get into a car accident and Mickey, her leg is shattered. It's, all she wants to do is to get back to the way she was and to get back onto that softball field. So she goes through re um, recuperation, she goes through physical therapy, and she's given painkillers. And those painkillers make her feel better and they almost make her feel too good. And she starts taking more of those painkillers and quickly kind of gets hooked. And she's lying to herself all throughout this book that says, you know what, I'm not one of those junkies. You know, I don't need them. I'm just taking them till I feel better. I'm taking them till the season gets over. Well, now I'm taking them till the year's over. And this is, she quickly spirals and this story pulls no punches. Um, and it's kind of a scary story of just how quickly addiction can take over. Um, so I highly recommend this one if you're looking for a hard hitter. As always, Come see me down in the library if you need any recommendations. Thanks and happy reading.